wait a minute let me finish I know you don't care but can you listen what's going on everybody welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is Ricky Somborn and today we're gonna learn how to play eight by Billie Eilish on the good old uke so the chords that we're gonna need for this song are C C major 7 F and then G so if you already know these chords you're like Ricky I got these down let's move on to the chord progression or the strumming for this song I'll put a timestamp on screen right now skip ahead if you want to go and skip ahead to those sections but if you're like Ricky I just started playing yesterday an hour ago literally just I picked up the uke right now I have no clue where to put my fingers on the uke for each chord I got you so stick around make sure to watch the next section which is where we're going to talk about the finger placements for each chords and then we'll talk about chord progression and then the strumming and then again we'll have a little bit of a demo at the end so just keep on watching all right so we're closer to the uke so you have a better vantage point of where to put the fingers on the uke as always i will have a visual representation of where you need to put your fingers on the uke i feel like it just helps a lot when you can visually see it and then also have me talk you through it so with that being said let's go ahead and learn the first chord which is the c chord and how we're going to play this one is you're going to take your ring finger and you're going to place your ring finger on the bottom string which is the first string so it's the first string third fret and it should sound like this. The next chord that we need is the C major seven chord and how we're gonna play this one is you're gonna take your middle finger and you're gonna place your middle finger on again the bottom string. So it's first string, but it's gonna be second fret. So it's gonna be first string, second fret and it should sound like this. The next chord that we need is the F chord and how we're gonna play this one is you're gonna take your pointer finger and you're gonna place your pointer finger on the second string, first fret, and then you're gonna take your middle finger and place it on the top string, which is the fourth string. So fourth string, second fret, and your finger should kind of look like that on the uke and it should sound like this. And last but not least is the G chord and how we're gonna play this one is you're gonna take your pointer finger and you're gonna place your pointer finger on the third string, second fret. Then you're gonna take your middle finger and place it on the first string, second fret. And then finally, you're gonna take your ring finger and place it on the second string, third fret. So again, it should look like this and it should sound like this. And there you have it. All right, so those are all four chords that we need for this song. As always, if you do need a little bit more extra time, make sure to press the pause button right now, rewind to whatever section or chord that you need a little bit more time on. And as soon as the chords sound crisp and clear, Press play and now let's talk about the chord progression that we're gonna use throughout the entire song. Coming up next. All right, so now that we know the chords, let's talk about the chord progression that we're gonna use throughout the entire song. And the chord progression is the entire structure of the chords that you're gonna use in the song. So as soon as you have that down, you basically have the entire song down. So the chord progression is going to be C, then C major seven, then F, and then finally G. So again, it's going to be C, C major seven, F, and then G. So that chord progression is gonna be used throughout the entire song. So you're gonna go through all four chords and then you're gonna go straight back to the C and then go C major seven, F, and then G. So that is the chord progression. Now let's talk about how we're gonna actually play the song with the strumming coming up next. All right, so we learned the chords and the chord progression. Now let's talk about how we're gonna play this song with the strumming. As always, I will teach you a few different ways you can play this song. The first way is gonna be for the true beginner who's like, Ricky, I don't wanna add any strumming. I just picked up the uke today. I love Billie Eilish. I love this song. I just wanna get through it. I got you. So the first way is just going to be with simple 
down strum. So you're gonna strum down with your thumb and you're just gonna strum all four strings. I have the C chord down. As soon as you see a new chord, you're just gonna strum down again. And then we're gonna go to F and then G. So we're gonna use that chord progression again, C, C major seven, F, and then G. And as always, if you do want to download the full chord sheet for this song, which is the lyrics and the chord right above the word, so you know exactly when to change chords, that will be on Patreon. I'll leave a link in the description below. But again, you're just going to do a simple down strum. It'll sound just as awesome. So the second way that we can play this song is going to be with an actual strumming pattern. So I have the C chord down, and that strumming pattern is going to be A. Down, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up. So let's do that one more time in three, two, one. So you're going to do that strumming pattern once for every chord. So as soon as you do for the C chord, let's go to the C major seven chord in three, two, one. Down, down, up, up, down, up. Up, down, up, up, down, up. Let's go to the F in three, two, one. Down, down. And then finally, finish off with G in three, two, one. Down, down, up. So if you do everything together with the chord progression and that strumming pattern, it's going to be want to add a little bit more spice into the mix this is the second way strumming pattern that you can play for this song you're gonna add a chuck into it and if you're like Ricky I don't know how to chuck I have a video dedicated to how to chuck I'll add that in the card and also in the description below it's a five minute video and you will definitely learn how to chuck in that video but if you already know how to chuck and you want to add a little bit more flavor and spice into it you're just gonna substitute some of the down strums with a chuck that we just learned of the strumming pattern the previous strumming pattern so that strumming pattern with the chuck is gonna sound like this down, chuck, up, up, chuck, up, up, chuck, up, up, chuck, up. So again, it has that same strumming structure, but you're just substituting some of the down strums with a chuck. So again, the strumming pattern with chuck is going to be down, chuck, up, up, chuck, up, up, chuck, up, up, chuck, up. But the strumming pattern without, again, is going to be down, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up. So it really depends on where your skill level is and where you kind of want it. Do you like it without the strumming? Do you like it with the chuck and the strumming? Or do you just like the down strum? All are very awesome ways to play this song. So again, choose which one. But again, if you want to add a little bit more spice, I would add the chuck. If you also want to kind of level up and advance from just doing down strums, if you feel like you want to push yourself a little bit more, start adding that strumming pattern into the mix and it'll sound absolutely amazing and yeah those are the couple different ways they can play the song with the strumming all right so we're gonna have the chords the chord progression and a few different ways you can play the song congratulations you now know how to play eight by Billie Eilish let's go ahead and do a little bit of a demo again as you saw in the beginning of the video uh, we did that little demo but let's do a little bit longer of a demo and just play along I'll have the lyrics and chords on screen as well so you can sing along with me if you want so let's do that in three two one Wait a minute, let me finish, I know you don't care, can you listen? I came committed, so over and did it, well, my heart on a chain around my neck, but now it's missing. Da 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 da
again, if you do want to watch the full play along, which is the entire song, I'll leave a link in the description below. Just click 8 Billie Eilish ukulele play along and that'll take you to the video for that. And again, that video does have the lyrics and chords on screen for the entire song. So it's a super easy play along for you. So I highly re recommend that you go watch it. I would love if you did. Also, we do have like almost 500 videos that you can watch of uke videos. So if you've ever wanted to learn any of Billie Eilish songs, pretty sure that will be on this channel. I have so many Billie Eilish tutorials and play alongs, so I would highly recommend that you go check out. I'll leave a playlist down below for all of the Billie Eilish tutorials and the play alongs, so let me know if you have a song recommendation or just requests that I haven't done yet, because odds are I probably haven't done a couple, but I've done a lot, so I would love your feedback. Leave comments below with your song recommendations, even if it's not Billie Eilish. But question for you, what is your favorite Billie Eilish song and what song would you want to learn on the uke for a Billie Eilish song? Let me know in the comments below. I'd love to read your comments. Thank you so much for watching. Links to everything for uh, from the uke that I was playing to also the merch, I'm currently wearing the hat. Everything will be linked down below. Also links to all of my socials, TikTok, Twitter, Patreon, and Instagram is all at Ricky Somborn. Again, links for everything will be down below. Thank you so much for subscribing. Thank you so much for hitting that uh, thumbs up button. And also most importantly, the bell notification so you don't miss any uploads that I upload here on the YouTubes. Also, if you just recently subscribed to this channel, welcome to the Uke fam, the best Uke fam on the YouTubes, in my opinion. Thank you so much for subscribing, for watching, for commenting. It really means a lot. I love you. I hate to leave you, but I'll see you in my next video. Bye.